dear children i welcome you all to our online english class part 7 we have completed the chapter now we are doing the activity part of the lesson 1 now let's recall what we studied in the previous class do you remember what you studied in the previous class what did you study about at first you studied about male nouns and female nouns what is the gender of the male nouns masculine gender a noun that denotes a male animal is said to be of masculine gender what is the gender of the female nouns feminine gender a noun that denotes a female animal is said to be of feminine gender and you match this male nouns with their female nouns which are the nouns here you matched king what is the answer what is the feminine gender queen what is the answer queen father what is the feminine gender mother uncle what is the feminine gender aunt horse what is the feminine gender male nephew what's the opposite gender niece the last one ram i told you to write the word ram there r a m ram what's the feminine gender of this uh, noun it is u how will you pronounce the word u e w e u okay i hope you studied all this now after this you studied about phrases i told you a phrase is a small group of words when a phrase is used alone it cannot make a sentence it has no complete meaning when it is a part of a sentence it has complete meaning have you understood you studied some phrases in this lesson then after that you studied, you matched the riddles with their answers after that you matched Uh, for, for example i make or mend shoes and slippers who who is that person a cobbler okay i hope all of you have read these things very well have you studied okay then next we can go to the next part while listening task listen to a poem then listen to it again as you listen circle the animal names you hear what is the verb what you have to do while listening you have to circle the animal names you hear now uh, let me read these names cow hamster fish mouse puppy dog lizard snake parrot donkey bat mankus got catch rat monkey guinea pig turtle horse lamb hamster what is that it's a small type of animal which is seen in europe not in our place not in india okay it's a small kind of animal and what is mankus in malayalam do you know kiri okay and what is lamb young one of a sheep young one of a sheep chemmiriyattil kutti le then turtle kadalil yama le have you understood tortoise and turtle tortoise nammal kareyil aanu kudalum kaanunnathu turtle in sea okay now you listen to a poem Then listen to it again. As you listen, circle the animal names you hear. My parents sent me to the store. My parents sent me to the store to buy a loaf of bread. I came home with a puppy and a parakeet instead. I came home with a guinea pig, a hamster, and a cat. a turtle and a lizard and a friendly little rat i also had a monkey 
and a mongoose and a mouse. Those animals went crazy when I brought them in the house. They barked and yelped and hissed and chased my family out the door. My parents never let me do the shopping anymore. Ken Nisbet My parents sent me to the store. My parents sent me to the store to buy a loaf of bread. I came home with a puppy and a parakeet instead. I came home with a guinea pig, a hamster and a cat, a turtle and a lizard and a friendly little rat. I also had a monkey and a mongoose and a mouse. Those animals went crazy when I brought them in the house. They barked and yelped and hissed and chased my family out the door. My parents never let me do the shopping anymore. Ken Nisbet Let's listen. Listen to a poem. Then listen to it again. As you listen, circle the animal names you hear. My parents sent me to the store. My parents sent me to the store to buy a loaf of bread. I came home with a puppy and a parakeet instead. I came home with a guinea pig, a hamster and a cat, a turtle and a lizard and a friendly little rat. I also had a monkey and a mongoose and a mouse. Those animals went crazy when I brought them in the house. They barked and yelped and hissed and chased my family out the door. My parents never let me do the shopping anymore. Ken Nisbet My parents sent me to the store. My parents sent me to the store to buy a loaf of bread. I came home with a puppy and a parakeet instead. I came home with a guinea pig, a hamster and a cat, a turtle and a lizard and a friendly you listen to a poem. Now, what do you have to do? You circle the animal names you hear. Okay. You heard the names of some animals that you circle in the textbook. Okay. Now, let's go to the next part. Let's speak. Read this conversation between Birbal and Mushtakali. What is Birbal saying? He is warning Mushtakali. What is that? You should stop being mean or else you will have no friends. What is Mushtakali saying? I am sorry, please forgive me. We use the expressions in color to warn people about something. We usually warn people about bad or dangerous things. Look at the following expressions. We can warn people using these type of words. You should stop being lazy. Otherwise, you will have no progress in your life. Another example. Please don't run fast or else you will slip down. Third one. If you don't work hard, you will fail in the examination. The last one. I warn you, not to damage the books. Okay, look at the other examples. Repeat these sentences aloud. If you touch that wire, you could get a shock. If you touch that wire, there is a chance to get a shock. Second one, don't go too close to the edge. You might fall. If you go too close to the edge, there is a chance to fall down. You should leave early or else you might miss your bus. You should leave early otherwise you might miss your bus. The last one, I warn you not to repeat this mistake. 
Usually, we use these type of sentences to warn others about bad or dangerous things. Now, let's read these words. Which are the uh, letters in color? The letter A. The letter A is in color. Let's listen to the pronunciation. Okay. H. Ape. Cake. May. Same. Case. Page. You listen and repeat. Bait. A cake. The date. Today. The same. Page. A late. Game. Just read. All of you follow me. Okay. Baked. A cake. The date. Today. The same. Page. A late. Game. Okay. Now let's write. Writing stories. With the help of pictures. Look at these pictures. Write a short paragraph to say what happened to Leela yesterday. You may use words from the help box. Which are the words given in the help box? Ice cream cart, ice cream man, bought, dropped, licked up, kind, another. Okay, with the help of these words, you have to make a short paragraph. I will give you an example. Like that, you also try to make a short paragraph. Okay? What happened yesterday? Yesterday, Leela bought an ice cream. An ice cream corn. She bought an ice cream corn from the ice cream cart. What did she do? Yesterday, Leela bought an ice cream corn from the ice cream cart. But what happened? But she dropped the ice cream on the ground. What happened to the ice cream? She dropped the ice cream on the ground. Leela was very sad. What happened then? A cat licked up the ice cream. We see. Okay, what do you see in the picture? A cat licked up the ice cream. And what did the ice cream man do at that time? The kind ice cream man gave Leela another ice cream. Okay? Have you got the story? Have you understood? Like this, you also try to make a short paragraph. Okay. Now, let's go to the next review worksheet page. You take the page number 57. An expensive aroma review worksheet. A. Rohan and Leela are at the zoo. Fill in A, an or the in the blanks below to complete their conversation. Rohan. Look Leela. There is dash monkey sleeping under that tree. How loudly it is snoring. Look Leela, there is dash monkey. Which article will you use there? We can use the article A. We can use the article A. A monkey sleeping under that tree. How loudly it is snoring. There is only one monkey. So we can say a monkey sleeping under that tree. Leela. It's disturbing everyone. Did you see dash white tiger? Isn't it beautiful? Leela is saying, T, it is disturbing everyone. Did you see dash white tiger? She is saying about a particular tiger. So we can use the definite article, the before this noun. Did you see the white tiger? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, have you got the answer? The white tiger. Did you see? The white tiger. Rohan. Yes, I did. It is a very rare animal. I also saw dash anteater. 
and eater. The word is beginning with a beginning with a vowel sound. An ant eater. What is the article? An ant eater. An dash line. Line. The word is beginning with a consonant sound. So we use the article a. An ant eater and a lion. Dash ant eater was cute. The word ant eater is repeated for the second time. The next sentence, the word is repeated. So we can use the definite article the. The ant eater was cute, but the lion was scary. In the okay, it is uh, the word lion is already mentioned. So we can use the definite article the. The lion was scary. Okay. Leela, I am scared of lions too. My favorite animal is dash elephant. She is telling about a particular animal. That's why we can use the definite article the. The elephant. My favorite animal is the elephant. Rohan, mine is the rhino. He is also talking about a particular animal. That's why he used the Definite article the before the noun rhino. Okay. Section B. Complete the sentences using a and or the. There is dash orange in my bag. I bought dash orange in the market. There is dash orange. You all know the article. What's the answer? An orange. There is an orange in my bag. I bought dash orange. Orange in the market. In the first sentence, the word, the name, the noun orange is already mentioned. So here, we can use the definite article, the before the noun orange. I bought the orange in the market. Okay, a particular one. Second one. Jaja's father bought him dash pet dog. Pet dog. Bought him a pet dog. He named... The dog Scooby. The dog. A particular dog. The dog Scooby. 3. Please shut dash windows. Please shut the windows. A particular one. Okay. Please shut the windows. I think dash storm is coming. I think a storm is coming. Okay. I think a storm is coming. 4. I prefer a good book. What's the answer? A good book. To watching the television any day. I prefer dash good book to watching the television any day. I prefer a good book to watching the television any day. 5. John ate dash egg for breakfast. John ate an egg for breakfast. His mother had boiled the egg for him. The particular one. The egg for him. Okay. John ate an egg for breakfast. His mother had boiled the egg for him. He is telling about the particular one. Okay. The egg for him. What is the next exercise? C. Change the masculine nouns in these sentences into feminine nouns. My uncle has two horses. Uncle and horses. Uncle is a male noun. Uncle is a male noun. Look at this. My uncle has two horses. Uncle is a male noun. What is his feminine gender? Aunt. Horse. What is it? What is the gender? It is a male noun and it is a masculine gender. We have to use the feminine gender here. So what is the sentence? My uncle has two horses. We have to change the masculine nouns in these sentences into feminine nouns. So what is the answer? My aunt has two mares. Instead of horses, what will we write here? Two mares. M-A-R-E-S. Okay, put full stop. Second one, a king's son is a prince. King, 
What's the feminine gender? Queen. Prince, what's the feminine gender? Princess. P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S. So what is the sentence? A queen's daughter. Son, oh, I forgot to tell you, tell you about the son, the word son. Son, what's the feminine gender? Daughter. Okay, a king's uh, son is a prince. What is the answer? A queen's daughter is a princess. What is the answer? A queen's daughter is a princess. P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S. Third one. The girl helped the old man cross the road. The girl helped the old man cross the road. So we can use the masculine gender. The girl. What's the masculine gender? Boy. The boy helped the old man. What is the feminine gender of this noun man? Woman. The boy helped the old woman cross the road. Have you got the answer? The letters A, E, I, O and U are called vowels. You know which are the vowel letters. What is the question here? Complete the sentences with the correct vowels. The first one. The D dash G is W dash T. Have you got the answer? We have to use the correct vowel letter here to get a complete sentence. The dog is wet. Dog, D-O-G. The vowel letter O is used here. Wet. The vowel letter E is used here. Okay. Have you understood what to do? Like this, you try to do all other answers. Okay. You needn't write this in your notebook. If you write in the notebook, okay, it is very good. But no need to write in the notebook. You can write in the textbook itself. Okay, that is enough. You do these answers carefully. Okay. Next, look at these pictures and read the outline of the story. Then, write this story in complete sentences. Okay, look at this outline. You read this and you also try to make a story. Okay? You try to do. You write in a piece of paper. I will call you to show me the paper. You try to do. You write a few sentences. I'll give you a sample answer. You listen. Okay? All of you listen. Look at the picture and you listen. One summer afternoon, a lion was resting in his den. Some time later, a mouse ran into their den. The lion was angry. He caught the mouse and said he would eat him. The mouse begged the lion to let him go. He said he would help the lion in return. The lion laughed and said he would not need the help of a tiny mouse. But he let the mouse go. A few days later, hunters captured the lion and tied him to a tree in to a tree the mouse was passing by and saw the lion tied up he bit the rope and freed the lion the lion thanked the mouse and the two of them became good friends okay you also try to write a story then give a suitable title to that story okay dear children now we have completed the chapter 1. You go through the whole lesson. If you have any doubts regarding the lesson 1, you call me. Ask your doubts and clear it. Okay? Study well. Thank you.